Hi YouTube, it's me, Crystal Dubs, <laughs> and I'm back with another pregnancy vlog. I know it's been a couple of weeks. I think the last one I did was 22 or 23 weeks, and uh, I'm officially 29 weeks and four days as of today. Um, to kind of explain <laughs> where I've been, <laughs> um, the moving process, uh, we now reside in Hawaii, and um I just been really busy uh, doing that and preparing for that, and you know it's it's a it was a lot. Uh, we're still trying to get settled in. We are in our new home, um, but I will go more into detail in a Navy wife vlog pretty soon. Um, I'll write some things down just to make sure I tell you guys everything because it was a whole big. It was it was some some mess. <laughs> included in all, on all of that so um, I want to make sure to uh, thoroughly inform you guys to uh, help you prepare if this is your first uh, marriage to a Navy spouse or what have you uh, you'll you'll have more of an understanding and you can prepare better so um, as far as this video pregnancy vlog uh, again I'm 29 weeks and four days um, according to the baby bump app on my phone the baby is the size of a butternut squash and it's 2.5 pounds um he feels a lot bigger than that <laughs> to be honest with you and i look a lot bigger than that <laughs> as far as my stomach goes you can probably see it from here uh but i'll stand up so you guys can really see it but um i have uh hit my third trimester and um the exhaustion is back. Um, I know at the beginning of my pregnancy, uh, in my pregnancy vlogs, I was saying how tired I was all the time. Like my hair is just kind of, I have it in twists and I, then I put a headband and two headbands on and just kind of, I don't even know what, <laughs> what the hell I'm doing with my hair, but <laughs> I was just so tired. I don't want to do anything with my hair. I'm thinking about uh, putting it back in some Harley twists, so I don't have to worry about it for a few weeks. So that's what I'm considering. But I've just been so tired. Um, the smallest task is is taxing on my body. Um, we still have a whole bunch of boxes to unpack and things like that. And, and I'll, I'll get through maybe three boxes and I'm like worn out, you know, and I'm like, you know, we have we have a two story house, so going up the stairs, I'm like, you know, out of breath. It's just, it just feels. I hate feeling this way, um, feeling like a bum um, with no energy or anything like that. I hate feeling like this, and um, I wish I would have had an opportunity to work out a little bit more with this pregnancy, but because of the previous one that I lost, uh, my doctor did not recommend doing the same things I was doing before, you know, with the first, with the previous pregnancy. Um, so I know with the previous pregnancy, I was still weightlifting. I was still going on my runs. Um, I was still doing my interval training. You know, I was still doing things. Um, some things I kind of cut out like, um, jump roping and all that. I kind of cut that stuff out and once I found out I was pregnant I kind of slowed up on the running I start power walking more than running so I, I still did work you know did exercise um but when I lost that pregnancy uh, the doctor was just like none of that you're not you can't do any of that now um so I put it to a minimum of just walking and um she said it was okay to go swimming I'm sorry i my hair is kind of coming out of the bobby pin anyway um yeah she said uh swimming was fine and uh, mild walking so that's what uh i was doing and i walk my son to school sometimes i haven't in the past week because i've just i've been having growth pains i guess um ligament stretching and pains and just things like that and me walking for a long period of time has also caused my feet to swell a little. So um, I've kind of slowed up on that. 
but I do want to get back to walking him to school because it takes about maybe 10 minutes to walk him to school. Um, so walking him there, I mean, 10 minutes. So it's not 10 minutes, you know, both way, you know, it's, it's 10 minutes one way and then 10 minutes back. So that's a good 20, 25 minute walk, depending on how slow or how fast we're walking. Um, and then if I go get him, then that's another 20 to 25 minute walk. So I think that's good enough. Um, as far as me being, <clears throat> from me being three, in well, my third trimester, so, um, yeah, so I, I am experiencing the, the feet swelling a little bit, not too bad, um, but it's there, I am experiencing the growth pains, stretching ligaments, um, last week, I believe, I was really feeling, uh, pelvic pain like really low 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 pelvic pain and it was it just felt like I pull, pulled a muscle that's what it felt like but it was really just you know my pelvis preparing for birth that kind of thing um speaking of that one thing I wanted to hit on is how um I plan to deliver my uh, my baby and um I've decided me and my husband collectively decided that the best option for me would be a c-section and to each his own because I know people are like well just because you had a c-section with your first baby doesn't mean you have to have a c-section with the second some people feel differently about that um, you know some people feel you just have a natural you know vaginal birth and all that but with my son um, my, my six-year-old I my labor with him was, it was, it lasted a lot longer than it should have because I went into labor with him about 10.30 or 10 o'clock PM and I didn't have him or they didn't decide to do a C-section until 4.59 PM. 4.59 PM the following day is, is when they pulled him out of me. And I should have had a C-section in about 1 p.m. So they waited, excuse me, battery's dying again. <laughs> uh, another video on my battery decides someone wants to die. But anyway, um, yeah, it, they should have taken him around one. So it was like three extra hours of pain for nothing because... I was obviously not dilating past seven centimeters. Like I would not dilate past seven. Matter of fact, the nurse came in and said I was eight. And then the doctor came in like an hour later and said I was seven. I'm like, so I closed up? Like what the hell? <laughs> like, so that, that, that made no sense to me. So somebody was measuring wrong. Um, so it, then, you know, of course he went into distress. Every time I had a contraction, his heart rate went down. And because it took them so long to take him, I don't know, I don't know what the delay was, but it's because it took so long for them to take him, he ended up having his first bowel movement inside of me. And then he swallowed some of it. So he came out jaundice and he came out with breathing problems. So I had him at 4.59 PM. I didn't get to see my son till about 11 something that night because they had him under the UV light and they had him, you know, with the um, oxygen thing on and, you know, trying to get his breathing right. And, and, then, and then his head was like extremely elongated because he was stuck in the birth canal for so long. So all of that, I don't want to deal with. <laughs> I don't, I, I'd rather just have it scheduled and, and know when he's coming. And that's that. Um, I'd rather not have to deal with with, with all that anymore. Um, that's just me. Um, that's my preference. And uh, plus, my mom is making a trip um, here. She's going to be here, you know, when the baby's born. And it's better for her for her to have an actual date. You know, this is the day they're going to take him. So then she knows how to schedule her leave at work and when to schedule her flight to come out here. It's just more convenient. So collectively, you know, we've decided that a C-section would be the best option for us. So 
that's my that's the plan <laughs> uh unless i go into early labor unexpectedly uh that's what we'll be doing i had my first doctor's appointment here on the third which was last week uh september 3rd and um we i got to hear the heartbeat and um she did a vaginal exam just to make sure everything's okay and everything's normal um as far as the measurement on my stomach, she said it was 30 centimeters, something like that, I don't know, but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry I keep looking out the window, uh, my husband is supposed to be coming home soon, so <laughs> I think he may walk home, because we're not far from where he, where he works, so that's why I keep looking out the windows, seeing if I see him walking up or whatever, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, everything was normal. She scheduled for me to have a, uh, ultrasound on tomorrow. And, um, so I'll have an update for that in the next pregnancy vlog to tell you guys, you know, how, how he's looking and everything like that. Um, we did have an ultrasound back when I was 18 weeks when we found out what we were having. So he looked, he looked fine then. I'm pretty sure he's going to look fine now. So it's just the nervousness of seeing him again. And is he, is he okay? Because it's been a long time since I've been to the doctor. Um, I didn't go to the doctor while I was in Houston. I ended up not doing that because the delay was just entirely too long. Um, doctors like, oh, it's going to take two, three weeks for us to review your records and then set you for appointment. I'm like, well, hell, I'll be gone by then. So, th you know, there's no point if it's going to take you that long to review my records. This, that's retarded. So with this doctor, um, they faxed over the request from, to San Diego for my records. And that was Friday, well, a Friday. And then by then Monday was the 1st of September. That was Labor Day. A Tuesday, um, the 2nd, they have my records. So the fax is over Friday morning. And then Tuesday, they have my records. I had already had an appointment scheduled for Wednesday, the 3rd. So it didn't take them long. So it shouldn't have took, it should have taken two, three weeks for a doctor to review my records in Houston. That, that's retarded to me. So that delayed me, so I ended up not going. I probably should have gotten on it right when I got home. So that is partially, mostly my fault. <laughs> but still, two, three weeks, that's retarded. <sighs> so, yeah, me just talking is, I'm out of breath just talking. So, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I think that's about it, though. Uh, food cravings and things like that. I'll just crave something out of nowhere. It's, it's never been just like the same thing every day, all week or something like that. Uh, like this morning, I had a craving for a, a McCafe iced coffee. Um, actually, I've had it for the past two, two, three days. And finally this morning, I went and got one. So I've been trying to keep my caffeine kind of low. I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, and I've been kind of... I think I've done good with this pregnancy. I haven't gained a whole bunch of weight. Um, I, I I'm not trying to because that's just more weight I'll have to take off once the baby's here. Uh, I really want to get back into my workout routines and I really want to drop the weight and eventually um, start uh, prepping for competitions and things like that because eventually I want to do figure competitions. Eventually. so. I don't want to put on a whole bunch of weight with this pregnancy because um, it's just going to take me longer to reach my goal. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. That is about it. So, let me stand up and do a belly shot for you guys. Let me get up. So, I don't mind stuff right here. It's just my stereo system. We're still trying to set up this is an office, so we're, we're trying to set up our office and everything. But here's my belly with my shirt on. And this is from the side. That is 
this is from the other side. And I have my nightgown on under this. <laughs> Let me lift it up. Okay, so this is my stomach, my bare stomach. And I have a line going all the way down. <laughs> and it's kind of lopsided because I don't know, I think he's more on this side. Yeah, it's like really hard over here. So he's kind of like got my stomach doing one of those. <laughs> my belly button is completely out. So yeah, and this is from the side. And this is from the other side. And that is it. <laughs> so, yeah, I will be getting with you guys later on this week. I may even uh, do the Navy Wife vlog today just to go ahead and get it out of the way. Go ahead and write, write some things down and go ahead and get it out of the way for you guys because I know... Some of you are probably waiting on that. Also, before I go, I did want to say hello to my new subscribers. I do see that I have some more, and I welcome you to my page. I thank you for finding me interesting enough to subscribe to. <laughs> so thank you again, and I will see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.